everyone, Sarah back with another video on the channel and today is the first official Lego City update since we've moved to our new space. And I'm super excited to set some goals with you, show you the layout that we've come up with, show you the space that we have for new and existing modulars, and to just chat a little about the future of our Lego City. If you love city building, definitely make sure to like and subscribe. So basically we have this giant field of tables and we have the modulars that we kind of just moved over. So what we need to do is kind of figure out a layout. Now in the old table, uh, I just had ba a basic street, a road down the middle and the modulars on either side. But now this is more like a, I don't want to say it's not an official square. It is still a rectangle, but it, it is a much different shape altogether. And that means that just doing a strip down the middle is not going to work. And even doing two strips, one on each side, uh, still isn't going to feel right. So what I want to do is kind of play around with more of a block style orientation and maybe get uh, two or three or four groups of modulars together with roads in between them. Uh, we're already at this point thinking we need more tables. But what I did was bring out all of uh, the base plates that I have in all colors, the roads, even though we're doing mills, um, what I know now is that I need a lot more pieces to keep going with my mills roads. But what I want to do is kind of cover up the white so that I can then take like a really good um, checklist of materials that I need. So we're going to use the old base plates. We're going to use the old road plates. Uh, I've got some sort of half built uh, new mills roads put together and we're going to lay it all out so that you can see uh, see where everything is going to go. So that is step one right now. I am going to get all of that stuff put together and then we'll take a closer look at what's going inside the city. Okay friends, here we are. Here is the table set up with all of the base plates. We'll kind of give you an overview from way back here uh, what the city is looking like. You can see there is plenty of open space, but at the same time, uh, there are plenty of buildings left to be built. And we have, for one thing, we have the town hall, the Grand Emporium, and the police station still in boxes under the table. So right there are three more. I have two corner garages, a bookshop, and an assembly square. There is four more. We actually have a lovely uh, townhouse that is actually modular size. So there is an additional one. So already we have at least eight more buildings that we plan to add into this city. And that isn't even counting any, any new releases or anything coming up that we might want to add in. All right. So here we are. Uh, we're right in the front of the city. This, I guess, would be the very the very front entrance of the city. As you can see, we've got the Disney Castle all build, and that is next to the diner, and there is an open space next to the diner, and then you can see the corner garage peeking out of that. If I go in for a top view, you can see that we do have some mill-style road plates running down the middle. Uh, <laughs> there's the skeleton of one that we were taking apart because we'll need to make a corner-type road. And you can see here in the back that we have, uh, let's see, one, two, three open base plates. And then, well, I guess four because of the one next to the diner. And then we have our, our Science Museum London Tower alt build over there on the other corner. So there's plenty of open base plates here. We clearly need another corner here next to the Disney mock build or the castle. But then as we go over to this bank of modulars, we start off with the Palace Cinema, and I really did want to get that one across from the costume shop. I'm not sure why, I just felt like that was a, a really nice addition to that. And then we do have some of just the regular road plates out front to hold space. We have the bookshop here, which looks very nice. And here is another corner spot. Absolutely need those corners. We have the pet shop and the Parisian restaurant. And then, oh, another corner. <laughs> uh, around there, from there is the detective shop and another corner. Beyond that, you can see Assembly Square, and I did put one of the half base plates in next to it because we will need to do something special for that area. So maybe some kind of walkway into a park, which I think we'll put in the middle. 
So we have a big spot there with two base plates. So I think we could come up with some sort of mock there of a, of a nice park area. Now I want to do a bigger park area uh, that will need probably some more tables that will go down in there with the residential section and maybe have the carousel in the park. So we also have the Ghostbusters, which is a little bit challenging to fit into a city. I've got to admit, I did put these, um, these gray base plates in here. I think I'll have the car coming out and able to drive onto the road and then maybe putting something smaller here will be the solution. Uh, this is not actually water back there. That's actually going to be road plates. You can see I've got the new road plates started for Mills and we just need to get an order going once we find out like how many parts and pieces we need. So as you can see here, I've got a strip of road plates that need all their pieces too. So let's get back from this direction. You can see the fire brigade is there. And here are just a small sample of the backlog of buildings and things that we have. As you can see from this layout, I'm not sure that we're actually going to be able to fit a train in at the moment. I feel like we would need a whole bunch of extra tables at this point. Um, but I really do like this look of two banks of buildings with uh, this one having a park in the middle of it. And then this bank of buildings over here, which is a little bit more condensed. Otherwise we would have needed to put like a double street and that wouldn't have worked. But then I like how this road here is gonna go straight down uh, and there'll be a row of buildings right there at the end. Maybe we'll have the town hall be at the very, uh, very end of that straight road. And we'll have the police station down there as well. So it's quite a, quite a big improvement from what you last saw. It's nice to kind of get a, a idea of a layout with these placeholders. Definitely if you have any comments, I'd love to hear them about where you'd like to see things. Uh, this for the moment is the best layout that I have in my mind, but I would love to hear more ideas from all of you. I think this is a great start and really utilizes the size of the space that we have. So it's about a 70 by 80 rectangle square setup. And we will need to maybe add another set of three tables right in here if we want to do a forested area. And then as I mentioned, we can add another set of two, even, I mean, you could probably even get four tables over here for say a park and some residential houses. So, so my goals for this week, I always like to end with a few goals. My goals will be to get a couple more buildings built, especially the corner. We're gonna go do the Grand Emporium next so that we have another corner. In my next video, I'll actually place the brick bank that we are working on. I think that will be an awesome addition to the city. And then I want to make as many more roads as I have materials for, and then place a BrickLink order for the rest of the parts and pieces that I need to finish up, at least the road plates that you see laid out in this video. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, make sure to give a like and a subscribe to see more of these updates in the future. And we'll see you in the next video.